in this video I will show you an example of clipper circuit this will be the example number 8 sketch the output waveform of following clipper circuit with given input consider the diode as silicon diode see we have this circuit in the circuit we are applying a sinusoidal input with positive maximum plus 20 and negative maximum of minus 20 volt in the clipper circuit we are taking the output across this RL of 1 kilo ohm by considering this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential see in addition to the applied voltage VI we have the bias voltage of 5 volt so when we have to sketch the output waveform of a clipper circuit and we have more than one voltage sources we start our circuit analysis by finding the transition voltage in that corresponding clipper circuit so I will start the circuit analysis by finding the transition voltage transition voltage is the voltage for which the total circuit current will be equal to zero and the transition voltage will separate the conducting and non-conducting states of the circuit now look at this circuit this is a biased clipper circuit In this clipper circuit, we have the bias voltage V1 of 5 volt and we have the applied voltage VI which is varying between plus 20 to minus 20 volt sinusoidally. Now see, how do we identify the transition voltage in case of this kind of circuit? When we have more than one energy sources in a circuit, we can use the concept of superposition to analyze the behavior for each of the source in the circuit if I use the superposition theorem here you will see I will keep VI active at first in that case I should replace the bias voltage V1 with a short circuit if I replace the bias voltage V1 with a short circuit, I will get a circuit like this because we are considering the effect of input voltage VI only. So, during positive half cycle, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. The positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the P side of diode D1 and N side will be connected with the negative terminal of input voltage. Now see, I can say that the in, during positive half cycle, input voltage VI is trying to put diode D1 in forward bias that means during positive half cycle input voltage is trying to conduct the current in this direction or in forward direction now consider the negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive so this positive terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode d1 and a negative terminal will get connected with the p side of diode d1 that means during negative half cycle the input voltage vi is trying to put the diode d1 in reverse bias we know that when a diode is in reverse bias the diode behaves like an open circuit and during the reverse bias there is a very small amount of current flow which is known as leakage current so during negative half cycle input voltage is trying to conduct the current in this direction and this current will be the leakage current now consider the case when V1 is active when we will keep V1 is active we will mentally replace this input voltage with a short circuit in that case you will see the positive terminal of V1 will be connected with the N side of D1 and the negative terminal will get connected with the P side of D1 that means V1 is 
trying to put the diode D1 in reverse bias and we know that when the diode will be in reverse bias there will not be any current flow except the leakage current so V1 will try to contact the current in this direction by keeping the diode in reverse bias so here we have total three effects this forward bias effect this reverse bias effect due to V1 and this reverse bias effect due to the negative half cycle of the input voltage so what will be the transition voltage from the definition of transition voltage we know that transition voltage will separate the conducting and non-conducting state of the circuit and at that instant the current in the circuit should be equal to zero now let's say if our input voltage is gradually increasing and input voltage vi is exactly equal to the 5 volt as this is a positive voltage this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and between these two terminals our instantaneous voltage vi will be 5 volt so as this is a positive terminal and this is the negative terminal input voltage will try to conduct the current in this direction when vi will be equal to 5 volt let's say i am denoting that current with i i see we have this bias voltage of 5 volt that this is its positive terminal and this is its negative terminal if i consider the current in the circuit due to this bias voltage i1 that current should flow from this positive terminal towards this negative terminal or that current should flow in counterclockwise direction and that current is i1 as the potential difference between this terminal to this terminal is equal to 5 volt and the potential difference between these two terminals is equal to 5 volt but in opposite direction so when vi will be exactly equal to 5 volt the current in clockwise direction and the current in counterclockwise direction will be equal as they will minimize each other the total current i in the circuit which will be the difference of input voltage i i and i1 that current will be equal to zero so this p i is equal to 5 volt will be the transition voltage for this circuit now which region will be the conducting state and which region will be the non-conducting state for the circuit this is our transition voltage of 5 volt now see if our input voltage vi becomes greater than 5 volt that means if i talk about this region of applied voltage in this region you will see input voltage will try to conduct the current in this direction due to the forward bias of d1 and this bias voltage will try to minimize that current by conducting the current in this direction due to the reverse bias you will see as the value of input voltage vi will be greater than the value of v1 the effect in the forward direction will be greater than the effect in the reverse direction or this effect will be greater than the effect in this direction so input will put the diode d1 in forward bias and our circuit will enter in conduction or conducting region or conducting state now consider this case when input voltage vi will be less than v1 or vi is less than 5 volt that means I am talking about this portion of input voltage if I consider any voltage between this region you will see the effect in reverse direction will obviously greater than the effect in forward direction so our diode will be in off state or in reverse bias or if if I if consider the negative of cycle during the anti-negative of cycle the input voltage will try to 
keep the diode D1 in reverse bias in addition to the effect of this bias voltage V1. So in this entire half cycle our diode D1 will be in reverse bias and we know that when a diode is in reverse bias it behaves like an open circuit. So when Vi will be greater than so when Vi will be less than 5 volt this region will be the non-conducting state. and uh, the transition voltage separated these two regions of conducting and non-conducting states okay so here input voltage of 5 volt vi is equal to 5 volt is our transition voltage when vi will be greater than 5 volt the diode will be in forward bias that's why the circuit will be in conducting state and when vi will be less than transition voltage or this 5 volt the diode will be in reverse bias that's why the circuit will enter into non-conducting state now consider this case when vi is greater than 5 volt when vi will be greater than 5 volt the diode d1 will be in forward bias when the diode d1 will be in forward bias we can replace the diode d1 with its constant voltage drop model of 0.7 volt so if i replace this with 0.7 volt i will get a circuit like this okay now see when vi is greater than 5 volt that means I am talking about this portion of the applied voltage. You will see the input voltage VI is changing sinusoidally. As VI is changing sinusoidally, in this circuit, this is a total series circuit. As the input voltage VI is changing sinusoidally, the total current in the circuit ID will also be sinusoidal. Because in the circuit, we have the load resistor RL and in a resistor we know that the applied voltage causes current of similar waveform so ID will be sinusoidal now see in the circuit VO output voltage is equal to the circuit current ID into RL so ID will be sinusoidal so ID into RL or output voltage VO will also be a sinusoidal voltage Now see, what will be the maximum value of that output voltage when Vi will be at its maximum value. That means I am talking about Vi at plus 20 volt. When Vi will be at its maximum value of 20 volt, this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. We can determine the output voltage at that instant by simply applying Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL in this loop. If I apply KVL in this loop, I will get plus 20 minus 5 minus 0.7 minus vo at this instant in output voltage will be at its positive maximum let's say vo max will be equal to 0 from which you will see when vi will be at plus 20 volt our output voltage at that instant vo max will be plus 14.3 volt now see output will be sinusoidal and maximum value of output will be 14.3 volt that means that means if I draw output voltage from this point to this point you will see output will be changing sinusoidally okay and you will see when VI will be at plus 20 output voltage will be at 14.3 volt from this point to this point VI is greater than 5 volt so I will get sinusoidal output with maximum 14.3 from this point our vi will be greater than 5 volt so i will get sinusoidal voltage with maximum value of 14.3 volt now see when vi will be less than 5 volt that means i am talking about this portion of the applied voltage in that case you will see the diode will be in reverse bias as the diode d1 will be in reverse bias I can replace the diode D1 with an open circuit. If I replace the diode D1 with an open circuit, I will get a circuit like this. 
as this will be an open circuit and this is a total series circuit the current id in this region that means on here will be less than 5 volt the circuit current id will be equal to zero because the diode will act like an open circuit so our output voltage vo will be equal to id into rl which will be equal to zero volt that means when v will be less than 5 volt or in this region of the applied voltage we will not get any output voltage so see from this point to this point vi is less than 5 volt so i will not get any output voltage or output will be zero from this point to this point vi is less than 5 so from this point to this point v will be 5 volt okay now let me show you the simulation of the circuit see this is the circuit setup of our clipper circuit 5 volt source diode 1 and 4007 load resistor 10 kilo ohm see here from the function generator i am applying a sinusoidal voltage of 1 kilohertz 20 volt peak value maximum maximum value of input voltage will be 20 volt now let me run the simulation here you will see our output will look like this okay see when this input voltage vi is equal to 19.993 volt let's 20 volt okay our output voltage will be equal to 14.439 volt which i have shown here our output voltage will be 14.3 volt and when our input voltage vi is equal to 5 volt okay see when the input voltage will be 4.917 volt our output voltage will be equal to 86.84 millivolt which is close to zero and see our output is the same waveform i have shown in my circuit analysis see our output will look like this okay that's it thank you